Since walking out of the White House on January 20th and handing the keys over to Donald Trump, we haven't heard a lot from former President Barack Obama. But don't take that to mean he's just been sitting around his home in Washington, D.C. Jet-setting around the globe. Obama has traveled the world since departing the White House, vacationing in no fewer than three continents and hitting at least nine different countries. The Obama tour of the world began immediately on Necker Island, an exclusive island close to the British Virgin Islands that is owned by British entrepreneur Richard Branson. It was on this trip that photos of Obama kite surfing found their way onto the internet and were quickly turned into popular internet memes. Speeches across the world Obama made his return to the public sphere in April at an event in his adopted hometown of Chicago, where he addressed a group of young leaders at the University of Chicago. He urged them to F.O. Low in his footsteps, seek to make changes in their communities and help in any way prepare the next generation of leadership to take up the baton and to take their own crack at changing the world. What is Barack and Michelle Obama's deal with Netflix? In May 2018, Netflix said it had struck a groundbreaking deal with President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama to produce hit shows. The couple will work on scripted and unscripted series as well as docu-series, documentary films, and multi-million pound feature productions. They have created Higher Ground Productions, a company to produce content for Netflix, the streaming service announced. Mr. Obama has reportedly told associates he does not intend to use the new platform to wage a public campaign against his successor in the Oval Office. One of the simple joys of our time in public service was getting to meet so many fascinating people from all walks of life, and to help them share their experiences with a wider audience, said President Obama. That's why Michelle and I are so excited to partner with Netflix, we hope to cultivate and curate the talented, inspiring, creative voices who are able to promote greater empathy and understanding between peoples, and help them share their stories with the entire world. Michelle said, Barack and I have always believed in the power of storytelling to inspire us, to make us think differently about the world around us, and to help us open our minds and hearts to others, she said. Netflix's unparalleled service is a natural fit for the kinds of stories we want to share, and we look forward to starting this exciting new partnership. How much is Barack and Michelle Obama's book deal worth? Barack Obama and wife Michelle have signed a megabucks 48 million pounds deal to reveal all about their time in the White House. The vast sum is six times more than George W. Bush was handed when he stepped down in 2009. The deal covers two books, one written by the former president and one by Michelle. A date for the book's launch has yet to be announced by publisher Penguin. But they are likely to become bestsellers when they finally hits the shelves. Obama is already a noted writer having penned best-selling memoir Dream from My Father, charting his heritage, youth, and journey into politics. He later wrote political tome The Audacity of Hope. The Obamas are reportedly earning more than $65 million in this deal. That's way more than the Clintons got. Penguin Random House, which bought the two books, won't discuss the numbers, but the Financial Times reports that the bidding for world rights surpassed $65 million. That number well exceeds the industry's already lofty expectations about the Obama's literary earning power. This January, literary agents and publishers predicted to Forbes that Barack Obama's memoirs might go for as much as $20 million, and a combined Barack-slash-Michelle book deal might net as much as $45 million. For comparison, Trade publication Publishers Lunch reports that Bill Clinton secured a $15 million advance for his 2004 memoir My Life, a record-breaking advance at the time, and roughly $21 million in 2017 dollars, while Hillary Clinton got an advance of $11.5 million for her most recent memoir, 2014's Hard Choices. That adds up to $36.5 million just over half of the Obama's advance or $42.5 million when adjusted for inflation, so about two-thirds of the Obama's advance. For Penguin Random House, which published My Life, and Simon and & Schuster, which published Hard Choices, those high advances paid off. The Clintons both rapidly earned out, 
which I'll explain below. But that's not always the case. On March 21st, he arrived in New Zealand for a three-day visit that included meetings with public leaders including the country's prime minister along with some golf. While there, he reportedly stayed at the landing, a 1,000-acre luxury resort, and played arounds at the nearby Cowrie Cliffs and Terra Iti golf courses. He visited Australia next, where he met with Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull in Sydney. On March 24, he tweeted his and his wife's support for the March for Our Lives back in the United States.